talking with Art Worth, who teaches wood turning at DFAC's Industrial Art Studio, which is located on Douglas Avenue in Dunedin. So, um, Art, you have some pieces here with you that you can show us. Can you tell us about them? Sure. Uh, students can make quite a variety of things, from small bowls like this to larger bowls. This is one of my favorite dip and chip bowls that. Uh, and if you use nice wood, you can get a really pretty grain to them. This one is stained. You can stain the product inside, different stain and outside. Or you can buy uh, kits and make um, coffee mugs. You can make pins. You can make bottle stoppers. Just about anything your heart desires, uh, we can do. A little over 30 years. So you know what you're doing? I uh, hope so, <laughs> most of the time. And when did you decide to teach wood turning? Well, when it, well, the sad part is that uh, one of the former instructors passed away. I was set up to be his um, substitute, and when he passed away, ta-da. But I love, it's my favorite hobby, and to do your favorite hobby and teach, which I enjoy anyway, and get paid for it. It's a wonderful combination. And you have some experience teaching a little bit? A little bit, probably. <laughs> I, I started teaching math uh, in 63 and been a consultant teaching managers about any kind of subject you can imagine. Oh, wow. So yeah, a little bit of experience in teaching. <laughs> and the students say that I have the patience of Job in, in waiting <laughs> to help them. And how long have you been teaching at DFAC? This is the start of my fourth year. Oh, okay. We've had a little over a thousand students. No, I'm sorry, 100 students mm -hmm. in that time. So and, uh, it's going well. Wow. So um, can anyone take your class, somebody that has no experience in wood turning? I have people who have come in, both men and women, with zero experience. Have never, I don't know that some of them even picked up a hammer, but it's easy. Uh, we have all the tools, all the equipment, and uh, we can take them from ground zero right up to making nice stuff like this. Awesome. So, what are some of the tools that you use? Okay. There's, they call them chisels, but they're also referred to as gouges. Mm -hmm. There's quite a variety of different shapes, uh, different flute sizes. Uh, parting tools, which will take pieces off, and little tiny, little tiny ones. So there's uh, this is just a few. You can spend a fortune on tools. You know, one guy has a T-shirt that says, "I'm just one more tool from greatness." <laughs> yeah, but they can also get expensive. That's why it's advantage for a student to take the class because they don't have to spend a lot of money on tools and equipment. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Um... Tell me about your classes. Are they very strict and formal, or are students having fun? I'm both. <laughs> I'm strict on safety and following procedures, because as this t-shirt shows, a lathe can turn up to 3,500 RPM. Normally, you don't do that. But if you do something wrong uh, with the tool and the wood, uh, you can have an accident. And well, knock on wood, so far. <laughs> We're in good shape. Very good. Um, so a lot of our students say that they come to DFAC for the community. Have you noticed benefits of that social interaction in your classes? A lot of it. <laughs> I have probably about six students that have been to almost all classes over a three-year period. Uh, that's a lot of time. And one of the groups that meets on Thursday morning they'll spend time kibitzing for about 15, 20 minutes before they ever start doing any turning. And two of the students that I know of um, go fishing. One of the guys has a boat and the other guy, they just love to fish and away they go. So there is a lot of community. Uh, there's a lot of people that come and go, but there's also a lot of people that stay and uh, have a lot of fun. All right. So what would you say to someone who is interested in learning wood turning, but 
they're kind of hesitant to sign up for class. Forget the hesitation. <laughs> because um, I put people at ease as much as I can and indicate that they're going to move at their speed, uh, how they want to proceed. And I've had some people, probably 35% of the people of those 100 have only come to one class. The idea being, am I interested in wood turning? And this is a very easy way to find out uh, if they like it. And I have some people that say, um, no, nah, there are about in six classes, about the third or fourth class, I had one gal that said, no, nah, this is not for me, but I'm finishing the class. And she walked, she went away with a bowl. Okay. And uh, others, the guy walked in after the third class and with a big grin on his face, he said, I bought a lathe. <laughs> So, and um, so yeah, it's a mix, but uh, it's a good way for people to uh, see. Even if they are interested, I warn them that they will become addicted. <laughs> yes. It's an addiction. Yes. And then you keep buying tools. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you so much for talking with us today and uh, showing us some pieces. We will have a link under this video for students to see the course descriptions and sign up. Um, there are morning classes, afternoon, and an evening class for yes. folks who work. Yep. All right. Thank you so much, Art. Sure enough. You're welcome.